Code Red Extreme Heat Alert will be activated by the city's health commissioner when the forecasted heat index reaches or exceeds 105 degrees Fahrenheit. During such alerts, city agencies will establish cooling centers across the city as listed there on your screen. If it's hot outside for you, you know it's even hotter for your pets. Here are some signs to look out for to tell if your furry friend is overheating, excessive panting, drooling, seizures, vomiting, blo bloody diarrhea, and mild weakness. You're urged to never leave your animals alone in a parked car and, of course, give them plenty of fresh water. Come July 1st, Maryland will have marked one year for the legalization of recreational marijuana. Of course, in that time, a lot has changed, including the possibility of a federal rescheduling of the drug. Last month, the Justice Department proposed a new rule to reclassify marijuana as a Schedule Three drug. Marijuana is currently at the same federal level as heroin and fentanyl. The new categorization would put marijuana on the same level as Tylenol and ketamine, which are legal but with restrictions. Earlier today, the University of Maryland weighed in on what a full federal reclassification really means for you. The cannabis that is sold in Maryland, even if, you know, if it's, you know, turned to Schedule 3, is still going to be illegal under federal law. Just because something has been changed to Schedule 3 doesn't mean it has become an FDA-approved drug. And I think there's some confusion there. Meanwhile, this discussion comes just 24 hours after Governor Wes Moore pardoned more than 175,000 marijuana convictions in a sweeping executive order. It impacts misdemeanor charges for people who were found guilty of possessing small amounts of marijuana.